Biochemistry is the chemistry of life. It's understanding how molecules and organisms are able to work together to allow biological functions and life to occur. Understanding these biological processes is very important because they allow us then to develop uh, therapies for disease. By understanding these mechanisms, we're able to then develop therapies. The IUBMB was created with the mission of bringing together biochemists from around the world. When it was first set up in 1955, there were about 20 member countries that were involved. We now have 79 countries that are part of the IUBMB, going all the way from Argentina to Zimbabwe and 77 countries in between. The mission of the IUBMB is to provide research and training and education opportunities to biochemists and molecular biologists around the world. So this is in the form of fellowships to allow students from one country to go work in another country. We fund meetings around the world. There are publications that we run and there are also education workshops. The education workshop is a vehicle to provide uh, or exchange information among uh, scientists uh, dedicated in education from all over the world. We need to provide education for areas that uh, may be not so advanced, for example, uh, in promoting uh, molecular biosciences. The difficulty we run into, of course, uh, for every society is the funding, the resources we can uh, gather. Fortunately, IUBMB uh, has several uh, journals which provide uh, incomes sufficient for us to uh, run many activities associated uh, IUBMB has a rich and diverse collection of journals. Our journals are IUBMB Life, Biofactors, Biotechnology and Applied Biochemistry, Biochemistry and Molecular Biology Education, or BAMBED, and Molecular Aspects of Medicine. IUBMB Life is the flagship journal of IUBMB. The journal is entering a new era, focusing on rapid publication of the most novel and significant short research articles and reviews in the broadly defined fields of biochemistry, molecular biology, cell biology, and molecular medicine. Given IUBMB's mission, we welcome submissions from around the world. A really valuable feature of the IUBMB journals is rapid publication. So for example, for IUBMB Life, the time from submission to the first decision is 17 days, and then once an article is accepted, it is published online within 24 days. You'll find that when you publish in IUBMB journals, there are no page charges, there are no color charges for the online material, and the papers are open access. The IUBMB facilitates uh, the presentation of original research through its journals, uh, through congresses, through focus meeting, Jubilee lectures and other activities. The IUBMB congresses are held every three years. These congresses provide uh, unique occasions for expert review of all the international advances at cutting age in biochemistry and molecular biology. The IUBMB focus meeting uh, are specialized meetings that cover and should cover cutting age science of clear relevance to biochemistry and molecular biology. So they are specific topics and the, the, the attendees are academics, scientists, young scientists and so on from all over the world. There are also travel fellowships to the students and the young scientists to attend those focus meetings. The Federation of Societies in Africa of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology know that the IUBMB is interested to work with them. Most of the universities, particularly in West Africa, do not seem to have enough teachers or lecturers or profs in the area of biochemistry and molecular biology. So they need teachers, you know, to teach students because there's a large uh, population of students in Africa. You know, the number of people going to university is increasing would really like to establish a, a professional development workshop uh, for faculty in biochemistry and molecular biology. And once we begin to develop this professional uh, workshop in teaching and learning, 
then we begin to provide leadership role for some of the participants from this workshop and hopefully they can provide leadership for their different regions once we work with them over a period of time. You know, this is an exciting time in, uh, in education uh, because of accessibility to the web, to online portal and, and different platforms of IT. It's important to use social media to engage the next generation of scientists because it's a way that anybody can have a voice and reach a large audience. And I think that in order to keep love of biochemistry going, we have to reach as many people as possible where they're at. My briefings from the bench are part of my collaboration with the IUBNB. So each Friday I do a post for them. And sometimes it'll be on various topics involved in how do you get involved with biochemistry, um, what's it like to be a PhD student. So sometimes I'll do experiments or I'll take um, the audience through classical experiments and that's a lot of fun. I hope that by doing all my social media work, I can sort of serve as an example that social media can be a viable platform for engaging the public in biochemistry and really teaching it. Science is all about collaboration, and that's certainly true for biochemistry. So in order for us to make faster developments, for example, to curing specific diseases, we need to get all our resources together, get talent from around the globe in order to be able to work together, share our results, and make better progress.